Okay, here's our second sample question from the SHSAT for ninth grade. And it says the value of, and if you can't read it, I'll rewrite it, 12 factorial slash or divided by 9 factorial is what? Well, this, this problem goes back to some basic ideas of division, of course, because this line right here means division. So what we have to remember is that when we're dividing, there are, are easy ways to cancel out. In this case, 12 factorial is really 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 and so forth, all the way down to 1, which means we could also write 12 factorial as 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial. The idea there is that 9 factorial, right, that's just 9 times 8 times 7 all the way down to 1. So 9 factorial includes the rest of 12 factorial. So we're just rewriting 12 factorial. And then we're dividing that by 9 factorial. Well, when we're dividing here, right, we can use the associative property because you can think of this numerator as being multiplied by 1 over 9 factorial. So I, I think of it as this. I don't rewrite this because I'm, I'm just picturing in my head, but I can say, oh, that this is equal to this times 1 over 9 factorial. Right, I'm multiplying these two terms. Now 1 over 9 factorial, if you multiply these, you would get this fraction right here. And I'm just bringing that up because that's, that's some of the background here, is that the fact that we're multiplying these two terms allows us to do this, to regroup and look at this term first. And then we realize anything divided by itself is just 1. So in this question, all we have to do is evaluate 12 by 11 by 10, and that will be our answer. So what's 10 times 11? That's 110. And then we're multiplying that by 12, although, scratch that, I'm going to do 10, um, 10 times 12 first, sorry, that's 120, and then that times 11. No, even easier, sorry. I'm, only, I'm, I'm just looking for um, shortcuts here for you when you're multiplying. And I'm realizing 11 has a great rule. 11 times 12 is what? Well, when you're multiplying any number like 12 by 11, you can add the two numbers, 1 plus 2, add the two digits. I'm just showing you a shortcut here is 3. And then the answer will be the first digit, 1, the sum of the digits, in this case 3, and then the last digit, 2. So that's 12 by 11 is 132. Then times 10, that's an, another easy way to multiply, is 1,320, and there's our answer, which is E. I guess also, of course, with the choices they give you, once you know you have 12 by 11 by 10, if you look at A, B, C, and D, A is 4 over 3, B is 3, C is 3 factorial, and D is 4, none of these can be correct, so the answer would have to be E. That's an even faster way of doing this. All right, hope that helped.